Hey guys, it's Tanika and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have a bunch of new Maybelline products here that I want to test out. I recently went to Priceline when they had their 50% off makeup sale and picked up a bunch of new things. So if you enjoy this video while you're watching, make sure you give it a thumbs up and let's jump into it. So first up, I have the Dream Radiant Liquid Hydrating Foundation and this is in the shade 02 Fair Porcelain. Now this, looks super fair. I'm very excited about it. So it is described to give 12 hours of continuous hydration. It improves the look of skin. I hope so. <laughs> it's a foundation. Um, medium coverage with a radiant finish and doesn't clog pores. Before I get into the foundation, I am just going to color correct with my L'Oreal Anti Redness Primer and cover up a few of these blemishes because I am breaking out I am hormonal and... <laughs> that shade looks pretty damn good. So it's more of a thicker consistency. It's not as liquidy as I thought it would be for a hydrating foundation. So I'm just going to pop a bit of that on. Okay, first of all, that color match looks amazing. <laughs> it has a, a lot more coverage than I thought it would. It does say medium, but I feel like that is covering everything really well. I'm going to do this side with my sponge and see if it makes a difference with the coverage. So with the sponge, it's definitely sheared out the coverage. Let me zoom you in. So even though I have covered some of these blemishes, you can still see them. Even on this side, you can see the ones that I've covered, but I feel like the sponge has definitely sheared out the coverage. So far, I'm loving the color match. The coverage says it's medium and it definitely is. I will try and put a little bit more on and see if it builds up a bit. And I do think it has not an overly glowy radiant finish, but I can definitely see somewhat of a glowy radiant finish. Okay, that extra pump has definitely helped to build up some of the coverage. I think this foundation I would much prefer when I didn't have these breakouts. When I've got breakouts, I like them to be covered and because this is a medium coverage, it's just not going to do that for me. But everywhere else besides the breakout areas, it looks really lovely. Okay, I just went in with a little bit of my L'Oreal More Than Concealer on those red pimples to cover them up. Next, I have the Superstay Powder, and this is in the shade 10 Ivory. So this is described to be a waterproof matte powder with up to 16 hour wear. Now, when I mentioned this in my haul, I did say I bought it because I saw someone on YouTube use it, and it was Taylor from the Taylor or Taylor Wing now, but they obviously have different shades in the US. So this is not very light and I don't think it's going to work for me. Like, look at that. This is the color of a powder that I would normally use. So, <laughs> I'm nervous. Okay, what I'm going to do is take a fluffy brush and lightly dip into the powder. Let's start. Okay, it's definitely darkening it. I don't know if you can see. Zoom in. Can you see the difference? Mm. <laughs> well, look, I've already started, so I need to finish. Yeah. 
Well, look, even though the color isn't quite right, my skin looks really nice. Like, it's definitely a powder that adds coverage. So it is a powder that I would really like if I could get it in the correct shade. I might have to look on eBay and get the US shades because everything about it is calling my name. And I know it seems a bit pointless putting on a matte powder over a glowy foundation, but look, that's just what we're testing out today. I always powder my foundations anyway, so even if I do use a glowy foundation, it's always going to be set down slightly matte with my powder. So I don't know. <laughs> the next product I am the most excited about, this is the Cheek Heat Sheer Gel Cream Blush. So this is the shade 20 Rose Vibrant. Now I'm hoping, no, it's, what? Hang on. <laughs> Major confusion. On the front it says 20 Rose Flush and on the back it says 20 Rose Vibrant. Anyway, I hope that I can apply this over my powder and it doesn't lift up any product. We will see. So I'm going to put a little bit onto my mixing palette here. Just going to spread it around with my finger. And then I think I'm going to try using my sponge and also using a brush. So this brush is a Kmart buffing brush. I'm going to lightly dip it in. Okay, so it's not lifting up what is underneath, thank God. And it is just leaving a really nice sheer tint of color, just like it describes. I feel like you do have to work a bit fast though. Here, I feel like it's kind of dry and I can't really blend that out. Sorry if you can hear the neighbors. They just built this huge ass cubby house for their kids. And so the kids are obviously out there having fun but they're quite loud. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to go in with my sponge. So I'm just going to dip the bum of the sponge in the rest of that color. See it there. I'm not even sure if that's coming off the sponge. Okay, I need to get some more. I think I'm just gonna use the brush. I feel like the sponge just totally soaked that up and I got no color payoff on my face. Okay, I like how that looks, really nice shade as well. The only thing is that because it comes in this squeezy tube, it's like you need to have a palette or something to squeeze the product onto, unless you wanted to kind of just squeeze it out on your finger and then tap. Maybe I'll have to give that a try. Okay, for brows, the new product I have is the Brow Fast Sculpt Gel, and I picked this one up in the shade Blonde. So this has a nice little wand here. It doesn't look like it has like those fibers in it, but we will see how it goes. I'm going to do my eyebrows with the Brow Ultra Slim by Maybelline. I've absolutely been loving this brow pencil lately. So one side of the brush has longer bristles on it. You see that? So I'm using the longer side to brush my hairs kind of up and to the side. In a brow gel, I look for something that tints them and also sets them in place in the direction that I brush them because my brow hairs like to just, hmm. It's like, stay where you were put, please. I also like a brow gel that makes my brows look a lot fluffier and hairier than what they actually are. And I feel like this is doing that well. This side looks super bushy to me. Okay, so I've just done my eyeshadow and I know I'm looking at like, I've got a major case of pink eye right now, but we will fix that. 
So the next product I have is the Hyper Easy Brush Tip Liner. Now I don't use liquid liners often because I don't do winged liner, but I like to have one in my drawer for when I'm doing false lashes and I can go over the lash band or if I do want to kind of thicken up my lash line, because my lashes are blonde, sometimes it can look a little bit gappy. So an eyeliner is a good way to fix that up. So I'm going to go in and just do a thin line along my lash line. Okay, oh, I'm really impressed with that. That was really easy to get a nice thin line. It looks really even, it didn't skip anywhere. Okay, phew, doing eyeliner always it makes me so nervous. I hate when like it skips and then you've got to try and fill in a gap and then it's too thick and it's like, <laughs> Well, that is all for the new Maybelline products, but I still have one here that is a new release, but I have been using it for about a month now. It's the Falsies Lash Lift Mascara. What I love about this mascara is that it's not too wet. Wet mascaras just end up in disaster for me. My lashes are clumpy as, and they just don't look good. This mascara just lengthens, separates, volumizes. It does everything I want it to do. So let's have a look, shall we? Like that is one layer just there. And on the bottom lashes, oh my God. I just love it. Maybelline mascaras have never disappointed me though. I pretty much love every single one I've tried, but this is definitely a standout. Now this side, I still have a few crazy lashes that are still lifted from my lash lift. I feel like the rest of them have gone back to normal, but there was just a few strays on this eye that want to mess me around. Like, get a load at them. <laughs> And to keep the Maybelline theme going, I'm going to go in with the Superstay Matte Ink Liquid Lipstick in the shade Loyalist. These are definitely a standout product from Maybelline, super long lasting lipsticks, really comfy too. So they are all the Maybelline products. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you've used any of these products, leave me a comment down below letting me know your thoughts and review. If you're new to my channel, I would love it if you would take a look around and subscribe. Otherwise, I hope you're all having a fantastic day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.